OK, continuing with our wind turbine, I just want to add a few more elements in this video. I'm going to model out some support structures for the for the platform because at the moment the platform is floating in mid-air. There's nothing supporting it and it could fall over at any moment. So we don't want that to happen. So it's going to be a modelling video. I'm going to uh, I'll play about the texture in my spare time and make it a bit better. But OK, so I've speed up the video a bit so you guys don't get bored stiff. So the first thing we did is create a torus shape and we're going to use this shape as a support mechanism for the pipe and the ladder. So the ladder is going to join onto the torus and uh, this makes the ladder more secure. So just playing about the shape really, making it look more realistic. And we need to make sure the torus is actually joined onto the ladder so they're both connected. And the second thing we do is create like a bolt shape, so the bolt goes through the back of the pipe and in inside the support. We don't need those faces, so we delete them. And once it's in place, we create the bolt on the outside, which is just an extrude job. And then we can combine the objects and uh, just tweak the shape a bit. So it looks a bit too smooth now, so I hardened out some of the edges to make it look more mechanical. And we do it on the inside and the outside. And that looks a lot better. So then we duplicate the final object and bring it up the turbine. Once we've actually finished doing that, we bring the ladder in so the user's got more room to climb up the ladder. And that's it for the ladder support. So the next thing we do is build pipes to go around the the platform itself. So we just shrink it down and bring it to the correct size. And we don't need these faces, so we delete them. And then I'm going to create a torus. And this torus is going to connect the pipes together that go around the support unit. So we delete two, three thirds, three quarters of the torus and then snap the pivot in place. To do that, you press, you hold D and then V in the middle mouse click on the vertex you want to snap it to. We're just uh, bulking out the torus to make it thicker than the actual pipe. So even though we've edited the torus's geometry, we can still revert back to the input input node and edit the radius and the thickness. And then we just basically duplicate the pipes and then bring it around the support unit. And this is one of the reasons I speeded up the video because this is very tedious. This is this job of duplicating the objects and bring them around the support unit. And we're just going to rotate those torus objects as well and connect them to the pipes. So this just adds a bit more realism to the level. We're now supporting our our platform without taking up too much detail. So okay, once we've done this, we need to duplicate this object and bring it upwards to the top as well. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm just selecting all of them and combining them into one object and then we can push it upwards. And then we connect these together. So we just delete these faces and I'm going to create another pipe that goes up from these torus objects and they join onto the top platform. So just an extrude job. So we need to delete these faces as well to join them on. So we can't merge vertices when there's a face in between them. So we need to delete the faces and then join the vertices using the merge vertex tool. So we combine them, then merge them together. And this can be really tricky if you're zooming in in, uh, in a very small object. So the best thing to do is to hold Alt, the Alt key, then right, right mouse drag, and then it will zoom in very nicely. So if you hold Alt and hold the right mouse button and zoom in by dragging, it's a lot easier. And I think we've almost done here. So, and that's cool. So we've got one object now, and as you can see, the 2D textures kind of overlapping the pipe. So I'm just going to tweak the shape of them so they don't intersect without disrupting the square shape. So just very, very slightly. Yeah. 
Okay, now that's done, but the platform is still floating around, so the best thing to do here is to duplicate the uh, the object which is supporting the ladder and just connect it to the platform itself. So I'm just going to create a couple more bolt shapes. So there's going to be a total of three bolts connecting this object to the support unit. And I think that'll be realistic enough. So I'm just going to, it's just basically an extrude job, just extruding objects, extruding the faces then duplicating them, move it into place. Moving that one upwards, so that's also connecting to the platform and just duplicating another rounded object to support the ladder again. And the last thing I want to do is create a pipe that joins the motor of the turbine onto the platform itself because it was too easy to just drag a box and joining it to the, to the ground. I thought this would be a bit nicer. So we use the same trick again, we add a torus and we use a quarter of the torus to join the pipe onto the platform. So just creating this torus object, deleting three quarters and snapping the pivot point. So hold D and hold V and then middle mouse click to the vertex you want to snap it to. Just an easy way of creating a rounded pipe using the torus object. And then we create another one to join it to the platform itself. So just a ring that connects it to the platform. So just scaling it out to make it look stronger, deleting these faces so the pipe goes into it. Not really needed, but I thought I'd do that to save polys. Just dragging it downwards and then scaling in the edges so everything looks connected and then softening out the edges. Okay, just tweaking out this object and then we're done with this. So in the next video guys we'll continue with our game and continue coding so thanks for watching the video.